Enerchem is a leading disruptive clean technology provider. We produce renewable chemicals and biofuels using non-recyclable waste and forest biomass. Based in Quebec, Enerchem has a commercial size plant in Alberta and is currently building a new one in Quebec. This plant is built along with partners Shell, Suncor, Proman, and Investissement Québec with a contribution from the Government of Canada. We also have two innovation centres, one in Westbury, Quebec, and another one in Edmonton, Alberta. There are four pathways being pursued by the industry for the production of sustainable aviation fuel. Pathway number one converts residual oils or cooking oils into aviation fuel, but the volume for growth is limited. Pathway number two converts ethanol into aviation fuel. Pathway number three couples gasification with a technology called Fisher Tropes. We are pursuing at Enerchem such a project in Rotterdam using non-recyclable materials. And pathway number four is what is called power to liquids, which consists in synthesizing CO2 with green hydrogen. Under the sky is the limit challenge, we developed a fifth pathway via the fractionation of residual biomass, that is forestry biomass, which is widely abundant on Canadian soil. We demonstrated such a pathway using parts of pathway number two, three, and four. Residual forest biomass is fractionated into sugars, lignocellulose, and lignin. The sugars are upgraded into ethanol and CO2. The CO2 is mixed with the lignocellulose, gasified and then converted into methanol. The methanol and ethanol are combined and upgraded into a mixture of oligomers. And the lignin is combined with this mixture of oligomers, hydrogenated into sustainable aviation fuel. The aviation sector alone accounts for 3% of global GHG emissions. Its carbon footprint is quite difficult to reduce. With the favorable support provided by regulation, the production of sustainable aviation fuel has emerged as a promising solution. Through the combined CRV Enerchem solution, sustainable aviation fuel can be achieved using lignocellulosic biomass from agroforestry as primary feedstock. It is universally sustainable. Lignocellulosic biomass is a CO2 sink the result of photosynthesis from atmospheric CO2, water, and soil nutrients. It is this eco-friendly approach that inspired Enerchem to take part in the Skies the Limit Challenge and convert local forest biomass residues into sustainable aviation fuel. The sustainable aviation fuel produced by Enerchem will help to reduce airline industry DHG by 93%. It is well known that carbon from industrial sources of CO2 is not always green, and CO2 from the atmosphere is difficult to capture at an affordable cost. On the other hand, carbon present in biomass is always green and has often been referred to as the Canadian advantage. It has an affordable cost as it has been used through generations across the Canadian land for a diversified applications. Also, the technology to collect, chip, shred, transport lignocellulosic biomass is well established in part of a major industrial sector in Canada. How will our solution work? First, via sustainable agroforestry. It will enable us to capture atmospheric CO2 and through photosynthesis water and nutrients, convert the carbon in the CO2 into biomass molecules. Second, using low carbon intensity advanced technologies. Third, socioeconomic impact, focusing on local employment and high productivity inherent to the hub and spoke strategy implemented by Enerchem and partner CRB. As a leader in clean technology, Enerchem is proud to leverage its made in Canada disruptive technology to offer an innovative, sustainable solution to reduce the carbon footprint of the aviation industry and contribute in a very tangible way in tackling climate change issues. With our Edmonton and Westbury facilities, we already have the infrastructure in place to move to the commercialization stage and we'll be able to proceed as soon as the market conditions will enable sustainable returns. We already initiated certification of our sustainable aviation fuel by the Canadian, American and European authorities. Thank you.